Their names became a byword for betrayal. Spies. They were tortured, hanged, and their bodies strung up in public. So why did Philadelphia it girl Peggy Shippen risk her life to spy for the British during the Revolutionary War? Philadelphia, 1777. The British have captured the city. A young debutante and daughter of a judge, Peggy Shippen catches the eye of a dashing English officer, Major John Andre, who would later become spy master of the British forces. The pair form a friendship that will change American history. In 1778, Philadelphia is returned to American control under the command of Major General Benedict Arnold. Despite the age gap, Arnold and Shippen married. Passed over for promotion on several occasions, Arnold was ripe for turning to the British side. And after putting him in contact with Andre, Shippen acted as a go-between, writing messages using codes and invisible ink. Eventually given command of West Point, an important military post on the Hudson River, Arnold agreed to surrender this vital site to the Brits. But when he found out Washington himself would be visiting, the plan changed to include the capture of the American commander-in-chief. However, Andre was stopped by a group of militia, and although in disguise, when ordered to remove his boots, the secret plans inside them were discovered and the game was up. Arnold soon learned of Andre's arrest and fled before his involvement was revealed. When Washington and his officers arrived, Peggy Shippen, aware her life was now at risk, threw herself into his arms, pleading her innocence. The ruse worked, and she was granted safe passage to meet up with her husband, now with the British in New York. Andre, meanwhile, was tried and hanged as a spy. Arnold briefly commanded British troops in 1781 before heading to England with Peggy and their children. In the US, their names became a byword for betrayal. Do you think Peggy Shippen's actions make her A, a hero, or B, a traitor? Let us know what you think and share your comments below.